acknowledging uh, that there are challenges and we've tried to address some of that challenges. Uh, we reduced the small business tax in Ontario by a full percentage point uh, January 1st of this year. We've also provided uh, for those uh, young folks uh, uh, coming into the world the opportunity to have a wage subsidies to uh, encourage employers and uh, frankly help them out uh, to bring in that next uh, generation of uh, uh, workers in the workplace to you know to uh, foster commitment uh, to foster uh, uh, just a, a good work ethic that they'll be able to uh, to use uh, in uh, their future years so I, I think that's very important and we continue to monitor the situation extremely closely. And your answer demonstrates the, the first premise is that these these issues are very, very complex with a lot very of moving so. parts. And, yeah. and uh, just today, you know, some some franchises are saying, you know, as we reduce our workforce, you can blame it on uh, the current government. Sure. And, uh, uh, you know, it, that's what's going to be sort of the soundbite that drives this election. So again, the more you manage, the more you wear it. Right. Um, I think we agree that uh, as a society, we, we want to move move and lift people to a new mm -hmm. uh, new parts of the economy. But by the same token, the implementation road is just replete with uh, problems and criticisms and players and whatever. And so you know, we're coming to the end here, but, you know, but what, again, how, how do we... we don't uh, we want our, our political leaders to make bold moves? I think so. That's the hard uh, part. Mr. Eh? Pearson made a bold move in the mid the 1960s to bring in the Canada Pension Plan and uh, the Premier to address uh, income uh, uh, inequality in the province of Terra uh, made a bold move to, uh, to increase, uh, increase minimum wage.